Hi guys, Saok Studio here and for today, we are going to share on how we do our architectural post-production process using Adobe Photoshop CC. The version of Adobe Photoshop that we will be using is 2019. The version of Adobe Photoshop is quite important because lower versions might have different settings from the latest ones. For the exterior rendered image that we will be using on this video, we will be using the rendered image from the HTC Part 3. If you are interested in figuring out on how we were able to produce this rendered image we suggest that you go check that video out for the lumen model that we will be using on this video it is posted in our gumroad website which is called htc2 you can download the lumen model for free or please support us thank you so much the version of htc2 is lumion 10 so only people with lumion 10 or higher versions of lumion will be able to open the model so let's open the exterior rendered image in Adobe Photoshop. Click the background layer and let's change it into layer 0. Then press OK. After that, press Ctrl Shift A to open the camera raw filter. Set the vibrance and saturation into plus 3. The haze would be plus 25. Clarity would be plus 50. And let's set the texture to plus 24. After that, let's adjust these settings. We are going to lessen the black elements on this image as well as the highlights. Alright, this is good enough. Press OK. After the camera raw filter let's add the gaussian blur effect hold alt then drag the layer zero down a layer zero copy should come out then drag it above layer zero without holding alt change the normal setting into soft light then adjust the opacity to 38 percent go to filters then select blur and under the blur effect select gaussian blur radius should be 5 pixels then press ok after the gaussian blur let's add the high pass effect press ctrl shift alt e a layer one should appear above layer zero copy then press ctrl shift u the layer one should turn black and white. Change the normal setting into overlay and set the opacity into 25%. Go to filters and select others, then select high pass. Radius should be 10 pixels, then press OK. Let's now save this rendered image, create a folder, and we are going to name this image 1. Quality should be 12 and maximum. After that, let's open the previously saved image. Let's click the background layer and we are going to change this again into layer 0. Press OK. Press Ctrl Shift A to open the camera raw filter. Let's set the texture to negative 40 and clarity to plus 41. Let's adjust these settings. We are going to lessen the black elements and highlights again. Alright, this is good. Press OK. After that, we should adjust the vibrance and saturation. So let's open the camera raw filter again. Press Ctrl Shift A. Let's set the vibrance to negative 2 and saturation should be plus 2. Okay, this is good. Press OK. Let's now save this rendered image. We are going to name this image 2. Quality should be 12 and maximum. After that, we are going to add the motion blur effect for the vehicle so let's open the previously saved image let's click the background layer and we are going to change this into layer zero then press ok let's zoom in a bit near the vehicle then press p to enable the pen tool let's start tracing the exterior of the vehicle Make sure to connect the dot where you first started so that the vehicle can be selected from the image. Right click your mouse, then choose make selection, feather radius should be 0, then press ok. After that, press this paper icon so that a new layer would be created. A layer 1 should come out. Press ctrl C so that we could copy the vehicle from layer 0. Then press ctrl V on the layer 1. The vehicle should appear on layer 1. Then hold alt and drag the layer 1 down. A layer 1 copy should come out. Drag the layer 1 copy above layer 0. Let's click the layer 1, then go to filters and select blur and under the blur effect, select motion blur. Angle should be adjacent to the road, so for this one, it would be 4 degrees and distance would be 25 pixels. Press OK. Let's move the layer 1 back a bit and let's set the opacity to 38%. After that, let's click the layer 1 copy, then go to filters and select blur and under the blur effect, select motion blur. Angle would be the same, which is 4 degrees, but this time, we are going to increase the distance. Distance should be 60 pixels. Then press OK. We are going to move the layer 1 copy further back than layer 1. And let's set the opacity to 45%. Let's adjust the opacities a bit. Let's change the layer 1 opacity to 26%. Then for the layer 1 copy, let's change it into 35%. Okay, this is good enough. Let's now save this rendered image. We are going to name this image 3. Quality should be 12 and maximum. And that is pretty much it for the post-production process. Here's the difference between the rendered image with just rendering it with Lumion and after applying the post-production with Adobe Photoshop CC. We hope that you've learned something new from this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.
special thanks to Yuxel Okuyuku, Butcheruni2000, Anthony Given, Danilo S. B. Costa, LP Dakateklaki, MK Visualizer Ruin, Sharon Kumar, Rahat Arora, Walfred Martina, and Elisa Sevikova. 